Welcome, welcome, rockers and music lovers. This episode, we are taking a deep dive into picking what is the best way to pick alternate picking versus economy picking. Which is better? What are they? Well, first of all, let's define what they are. Alternate picking is the practice of adhering strictly to alternating downstrokes and upstrokes or upstrokes and downstrokes, but always in the opposite direction, up and down all the time, no matter whether you're changing strings or how many strings you're skipping. Examples of something like this would be your typical spider exercises. These are meant for strict alternate pick pretty easy to do alternate picking like that because there is an even number of notes per string but what happens if we are playing something like G major three notes per string and we're playing well here we have an odd number of notes per string so we have down up down up so i'm switching strings like this on a down stroke and an up stroke down up down up down when i switch there up down up on that one down now now there's not a problem per se because it's very doable and you can do it quite quickly and quite articulately that way. But this is a perfect example for when economy picking might be something you might wanna try. So what I'm doing is down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up. This is a great way to make your playing a little more fluid. It seems to be a little more smoother than It's a question of choice. So that begs the question, what is better? Well, the answer in my mind is absolutely clear. The best way to play is using both. It's an artistic choice. What kind of a statement are you trying to make? And also, what are the circumstances? What kind of song are you playing in? And that should tell you what you can get away with and what would be appropriate. For instance, if we were playing something like... alternate picking will do. Only alternate picking. Basically, tremolo picking is the ultimate alternate picking. What's a place where you would absolutely need to use economy picking? Well, economy picking, the most economic picking is sweep picking. Sweep picking would be something like... I'm just doing one, one long down stroke, and then one long up stroke. Could I do this in alternate picking? It feels weird for me because I had never tried this before, but yes, I could, and it could be done. And somebody like Zach Wild, who's a strict adherent to the alternate picking routine, I'm sure that he could blast through that stuff like nothing because he can do it in his sleep. It's just the way he does everything and he makes it work. There are other people like Ingve Momstein and, and other of these shredder types who like to set up three notes per string and who like to set up arpeggios where they will be just doing a lot of directional picking. Even Stevie Ray Vaughan. That was one of his famous uh, sweet pickings in Tim Pan Alley. He's used it in other songs as well, but basically it's just a D minor triad. So you're just
There's no way that you can get that sounding right with alternate picking. So really, it's a question of what kind of musical expression do you want to make? I have a little loop here that is just E minor, C and D. I'll play a minute or so just showing you some different techniques on why it's really cool to learn both because they're both very expressive ways of doing it. clear that on things like and that economy picking and sweep picking is a very expressive way of doing it. Or if we're doing descending lines. This would be a place where you would alternate. Three notes per string. You can economy pick. You can also alternate pick. Um, even notes per string. Just two, you're best to stick to something alternate. If you're doing something fast that you really want every single note to pop out, maybe you should do it with alternate picking. But if you want to have that nice fluid kind of style, well maybe you should try economy picking. So this is not meant to be a tutorial on picking how to alternate pick, how to economy pick. This is a discussion about what is the best way to pick and clearly the best way to pick is to have as many things in your arsenal as possible for whatever artistic expression you wish to make. There is no more to discuss than what is your taste and what is your goal. There is no right or wrong way to do it. Don't let anybody tell you different. And if you can make something that nobody else can do because it sounds right to you, well then that's your music and your music is as valid as anybody else's music. You just have to find your listeners for it, even if it's just you. What's important is that we stay connected to our instrument. We, we retain our passion for playing. Folks, it is always a pleasure to spend this time with you. My name is Dwayne Dixon, AKA Double D. Thank you, thank you for spending this time with me in discussing what are the elements of good playing. And in my opinion, it's using as many different techniques as you can. So I'm gonna play you out over that little three chord E minor C D progression, and I'm gonna see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in, folks. Mm -hmm.